Hi folks and welcome back. Just a little quick short video today to show you how we use one of these which is a lithium iron phosphate battery with one of these which is the uh, Turnigy charger which can charge just about any battery under the sun. But I know there's a bit of confusion and a bit of fear about these batteries so um, this is how I use mine. So it's got the original connector on it, which I think is an XT60 for the radio controlled vehicles. I've got an adapter which has got my standard power poles on it. As for the charger, one end of it plugs into a 12 volt supply, so you can use the bench supply at home. Or in my case, I have 12 volt outlets there. Yes, we're in the back of Dora the Explorer. So just connect the crock clips. So the great thing about these is you can use them anywhere. Now, balanced charging is the way to do these. This is a four cell. So you've got your little um, cables that plug into the balanced port here. And then we just connect the Anderson power poles. Now, this thing is so versatile, um, you can program your batteries of all different types, even lead acid. You've got a battery meter, so I press enter, it actually shows me that um, the individual cell voltages. Now what I want to do is um, cycle through this till we get to the lithium ferrite, press enter on that. It's already set 1.3 amps charging current which is what I use for this 4200 um, milliamp hour. It says it's a 4S and it's looking to get up to 13.2 volts. So long press on that, it checks the battery, I hit enter and off it goes. Whilst it's charging, I can monitor the individual cell voltages. Now, the battery I'm charging isn't really needing to charge because I charged it last night, but I just wanted to show you how versatile this charger is and how simple it is to get it going. The great thing with these cells, when you're using them um, for remote radio use, is they'll sit at 13.2 volts all day. So with most radios, they'll actually give you the full output, really, that you would get from running it from a car battery or a power supply. It is important that you don't take the individual cells in this below, I think, a couple of volts. So um, the actual, um, you do get battery monitors for these as well that you can actually plug in to the, uh, to the individual bit. So when you're using the battery, it can monitor the cell voltages and give you an audible alarm when they drop below a preset value. And I will put a link um, down below to show you that kind of thing that's available. So there you go, dead simple. Best battery for mountain radio and the most versatile little charger you can take anywhere as long as you can find you know, a car battery or something like that to run it from. Simples. Right, see you next time, 7-3.